Hey everyone, this is just a video explaining this team comp and why it can work so well in certain maps. In this case, Lakeside, it's very nice to hide in. So, I'm playing mech with a team where Wu would only want to chase me in this instance. He would not want to chase anyone else because it's very hard to chase them and he would probably lose the game off of that. So he's going to look for me and here I instantly transition to boat knowing that he's probably going to find two or one person before possibly me. So I decode a little bit just to make sure I reset the crow timer. And then I, when uh, Josh pains that he's changing targets, I instantly hide. I don't place my bot right away. And I go down here because more likely the hunter will eventually come to the cipher so that I can see where his rotation is going to be and where he'll go. So like I predicted, he's actually coming here. And he's looking for me. This hunter really wants me. He's seeing if uh, my bot's out, seeing my, if the cyphers are wiggling. He doesn't see any of the other cyphers wiggling, meaning that I'm not on, on one. So he's just gonna keep looking for me. And I'm literally right next to him. And he doesn't know it. So he's just very confused right now. While we have uh, Josh doing half a cypher and uh, knowing that uh, Wu was trying to teleport, they were getting off ciphers. I really was going to delete this video, but at the same time, the only way to make this uh, game yeah. justice was to actually talk about it, because it's hard to explain the thought process behind this team and why it works. So here, he's like, I'm done with mercenary, I'm going to go back to forward now. Now we're just going to watch forward kite a bit. Now where I am, I actually w finally went back up here because he left. And I know he's chasing forward. So he's still looking. He's still looking for me this entire time, by the way. You'll see him pan his camera looking where I am, but he didn't realize uh, I'm on boat because the cypher on boat hasn't started really yet. Now, they're getting hit, but they'll start making sure that they don't start getting hit, as in they'll pay attention and be more aware of this Wu trying to find me instead of going on them. So he realizes that finally that my bot's out, and that it's going to be up there. Now, I didn't know exactly that he was going to be there right away, so I didn't move my bot. <laughs> now you think, oh, now he knows where I am, right? But the thing is, he just tossed, so he has to walk, so now I have time to hide. I place another bot, and I place it just in this corner. I place it there for tinnitus mark, and then I just head this way. And he's still looking for my main body. He knows I'm kind of over here, but he doesn't know for sure, because the tinnitus came on very early, so he knows I'm just hiding and not decoding. So he leaves, and then just goes this way. And I'm just sitting in here, I'm not actually decoding, I'm just moving my bot around, I'm not actually really doing much with it. I'm actually going to place it over here, so then it even puts tinnitus in this area, so it makes it more confusing for him. <laughs> now my cypher will not wiggle because it's not over a certain threshold it needs to be, I think. I don't know the exact number, it's something like 25 or 35 or some shit. <laughs> Now Josh's cypher is already over that amount. See, look how much decoding we've done. And he's been looking for me the entire time. He comes here because he finally realizes where I am. So now he's actually on me. But see how much decoding we've done? We did uh, half, half the cypher on boat. We did three other cyphers. And he still didn't commit to anyone. And this is why mech with a comp like this works so well. Because if you're smart with mech, you just hide. And the hunter can't do anything. Now, death spawns are a thing, and I understand that. But knowing that you can play around potential death spawns make this, makes this idea work really well. And I'm, I'm just dead here. I can't really do anything. It's just kind of 50-50. So now we only need one Cypher now. So they're gonna start probably middle, and then first officer's still doing the Cypher. 
Only problem is I did die basement, but it doesn't really matter because we're so far in the game. I didn't really think he would go there he died over there. Because it, it wastes so much time for him. Him putting him at me in basement means that he can't toss unless he's up here. Which gives my team more time to deco like this. And of course he's not going to leave that. So now, Josh is here. I make sure to tell him I'm going to take the hit for you. I don't want you to get injured here. I need you to not be on the floor right now. And then I pull far away from the Cyphers. I go all the way to Cornfield. And he knows that he can't keep chasing me because he knows he's going to uh, lose the game basically. Because uh, if he commits here, the first officer already has it primed anyways. But if he kept chasing me, even if they save me again, it was already going to I mean, he couldn't really do anything at this point. That's why this comp's so weird. And it works so well. Now here, I don't go to the door instantly because I think he's gonna go there. So I'm gonna get rid of my doll. So then I don't, if he hits it, then I don't get the mark, which is when he hits the doll and then uh, uh, gets my location. See how the tinnitus is already here? And he's super confused because that's my doll tinnitus right there. That isn't anyone else. And he realizes the uh, mercs here. <laughs> So then, instead of healing, uh, I realized they're all at the other gate, and I wasn't sure if Wu was going back instantly. I think he was checking the gate and then going. Or no, no, he was on Mercenary and going to cheer him. So then, Josh said he was still on me, so then I just left. And this was duos, I think this was uh, Unicorn Champion. And then, basically, he tries to just go all the way over here to see if he can cut me off, but it was basically game over. So, what did we learn from this? A lot of it was not even really my build. I mean, snooze is whatever, but just the idea of hiding. Well, I this was interesting to see like how much progress you can do just by hiding and how much pressure you can have just by having three people even though they slow decode the amount of time you can waste is incredible with this type of team comp it doesn't work all the time though you can't bank on this comp working every time it's just if you if it's a big map like this where you can hide and you can play mech and make this work um, even with forward, you can even make the, the stalling work and then getting guaranteed rescues, having the decoding with my bot out. It's just really nasty. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and see you later.